flip since we last talked to you. Couple. Yeah. Is that uh, is that fun? I'm sure people reach out to you that you probably haven't heard from in, in a while when you do something like that. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's been really nice just hearing, you know, all the people back home, you know, just getting all their funny texts and all that stuff. So it's it's nice getting in touch with people you haven't talked to in a long time or haven't heard from, and um, you know, it's it's uh it's funny. You spoke a little bit uh, after the game about how you kind, of, you kind of fiddled with stuff during the week to maybe slide around and, and maybe feel pressure. Looking back at the tape, how much of a difference did that make for you to be able to kind of step up, step back, kind of go left, right, and, and not not scramble but sort of feel pressure and, mm -hmm. and wait? Um, you know, it, it, it helps just to be able to have a quiet mind, um, which kind of quiets my feet and stuff like that. And um, honestly, the O-line kept me clean. I mean, the majority of the game, there's only two or three times where I really had to move, like, you know, more than a step. So it was, you know, they did a heck of a job all game keeping me clean and a nice pocket for me to throw in. So, um, you know, that made it easy on me. Um, and all the little adjustments I made, um, you know, they worked when I had to, you know, when I had to use them. And I still got to keep, you know, making them happen. You know, I missed a, you know, we had a drop, but it, it's going to go down as a drop, but it was a six-inch lower throw, and it's a great catch, and he runs, and who knows how many yards he gets. So it's, um, you know, little stuff like that that I can do to really help our offense keep moving forward and moving the chain. So. What have you seen at Arizona's defense? You know, they're good. They, they got a lot of good players. Um, you know, their scheme is, you know, really consistent. So it's going to be something where it's not like they're doing a whole bunch of crazy things and we can maybe gash them here and there. Um, you know, they do a lot of good things, and um, we're really going to have to just stick to our game plan and just control what we can control. What's different about their defense than you've seen from, from other teams? You know, no, no, I hear you. They're, you know, they're similar to a lot of the good defenses we faced. You know, they, they play really consistent. They play together. Um, they rally to the ball well. Um, got, they have good athletes on the perimeter and in the front seven. Um, you know, so it's going to be a test for us. You know, if we can run the ball, can we be consistent in our pass game, and just you know do what we do. That's it's going to be that's the emphasis every week, and just how well can we ex execute what we do. So. Right before half, uh, Coach said there wasn't much discussion. He wanted you guys to go for it. You scored. Well, what does that do for you when when the staff has that kind of confidence in, in the offense? It's uh. It, you know, it's great after the you know looking back and all that stuff, and um, it's awesome that we've you know we've earned the, earned his trust to, enough to go for it in that situation. But at, you know, in the time that was you know you know in the heat of the moment and stuff, you know you're not really thinking. You're just let's go execute and um, get points on the board. Um, but it, it's awesome being able to you know it, it's a lot of calculated risk. It feels like, but it's never it's something that feels like it's like uh, you know this is kind of a crazy you know I, you know it feels like it's in the flow of the game and um it, it just feels natural you know so it's a uh, it's a really great it's a really great thing to have a coach that trusts our offense and um believes in us so that's that's a huge huge deal for us other than the reaction on, on your flip i think some of Vic's runs maybe got the biggest reaction from the team um, what do you see kind of on the other 10 guys on the field when Vic's running that way it's you know it just adds confidence you know it's you know, when you get that first first down, it's, it makes the second one easier, and then you get makes the third one easier, and all that stuff. So, and especially when you're running it, you know, passing is a different story. But when you can run the ball on a team, it's it's demoralizing. So it's it's um it was it's really fun just to be able to watch how excited our guys get and fired up. You know, when they do make a great block here or there and can spring a run and stuff like that, just builds to their confidence and their juice. So, um, you know, we just got to keep that rolling. How have you felt about the contributions of your tight ends? You went to them a bit more on Friday. Yeah, you know, they've been doing a great job all year. You know, it seems like every time I throw to them, they catch it, <laughs> you know. So, um, you know, they're doing a heck of a job, and um, I'm excited to see, you know, if they get, a, you know, more opportunities and to see what they do with them. So I'm going to be excited to see what they can do. Yeah, how did it feel to kind of reward Kyle there in the end zone when yeah. he doesn't go out on routes too often? Yeah, you know, it's awesome. He's a... Uh, you know, he's a really good dude, and it's just nice to be able to see him have success. You know, he's he's worked so hard in this program for a long time, and um, to see kind of a, like you said, kind of a payoff there for him, and that was, you know, a really crucial play for our offense and team, not just, you know, a, a great moment for him. So um, it was awesome. You know, I hope there's more to come. A lot of teams talk about the, the next man up mentality, um, but I've been impressed with the way you guys have handled losing big portions of, of the team, Trey and D-Rob and, and now Devontae and Saffle. Uh, what do you think it is about this group that, that actually lives up to that, that next man up thing? You know, I just think we have guys that have really 
just stuck to the process. You know, we, we all understand it's not fun not being the guy. And, um, you know, it's it's the hardest job in the world to be the backup, you know, just because you have to prepare like the starter and you don't get, you know, any of the reps and stuff like that. So it's tough, but I think we have a, a group of guys that are really committed to just winning. And, um, and they know that football is a crazy game and anything can happen at any point in time. So, and like you said, I mean, we've had guys that, you know, you'd never – never thought would go down or down and um, you know and it's it's really unfortunate and it's so sad but we have to move on it's it's just the game of football and I think we have a lot of guys in each position that are really chomping at the bit for their opportunity you know and that's and that's what I think helps the competition level stay high and um, you know just keep the quality of the team up you know because nobody gets too down and um, and honestly the guys who have been injured and stuff like that they could have I know myself, I would have been moping around and all upset and, you know, they've been, they've stepped up their leadership, which is a great, um, just, you know, just a great testament to them and, um, you know, it's it's been really big for our team, so. Thanks, Russ. Thank you. Thank you.